In this video, I'm going to show how I built a miniature water wheel that generates electricity from just a tiny amount of water flow. The water wheel has a 12 inch diameter, and it drives a generator using a 10 to 1 gear. The generator is built with fridge magnets and 30 gauge copper wire. I use 8mm skateboard bearings for both the shafts on the water wheel. The 8mm steel shaft came from the rails of an old 3D printer. Stacks of three magnets are put in each hole of the rotor. There's a total of 99. I was really impressed with how smooth the wheel runs. I can get about 20 to 30 seconds of rotation out of one good flick. It runs at 35 to 40 RPM in the sink. I built 33 stator coils and they each have about 1200 turns of 30 gauge wire. Before I committed to installing all 33, I did a quick voltage test with a single coil. Next I put 8 of them in series, with the windings wired high to high and low to low to match the alternating polarity of the magnets. Immediately there's a big problem. The rotor magnets pull so hard they bend the stator and snap to the coil course. I'm going to have to add another spacer to prevent that. Now there's another problem. My rotor has a ton of friction from cocking, which is where the magnetic pull drags on the coil cores. It's way too much friction to spin the wheel with water. I'll have to remove the ferromagnetic cores from the coils. 
This will reduce the power I can collect, but at least it'll allow me to spin freely. The new coils are shorter because the magnetic flux can't reach as far without cores, so I'd just be wasting wire and creating more resistance with longer coils. I think it came out looking pretty nice. Next I built a bridge rectifier with a filter capacitor to convert my output to DC, then ran the water wheel in the sink to see how much I could charge up the cap. 12 volts seems to be the absolute maximum. I measured the water flow from my sink faucet by timing how long it took to fill a certain weight. Knowing the height of the faucet and the mass flow rate of the water, I was able to determine that there was 286 milliwatts of power in the water flow. Then I tested output voltage across different resistor values. I found that my maximum power was 26 milliwatts, which was about 9% efficient. Unfortunately, there's no mountain streams to take advantage of here in Florida, so I added some hardware to run the wheel off a small 12 volt aquarium pump for demonstration. Next I made an LED board to hook up to the water wheel's output. It has two sets of LEDs wired anti-parallel, so on one side of the alternating current output, one set gets lit up, and on the other side of the output, the opposite set lights up. This turned out to be really fun to play with, because I could just give the wheel a good flick and the LEDs would stay on for several seconds.